to you in here. What? <laughs> I do the same for you, just like I'm supposed to do. I'm yours. You're mine. If you ever feeling blue, rest assured I've been there too. We just pick up where we left off, then we tow the line. That's fine. Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday morning, July 5th. We're outside in the pool, kind of in the pool. Oh God, that was cold. <laughs> Mom's almost getting in there. It's cold. It is cold. It's cold because it was like really cold this weekend. Well, not cold, cold, but it was like 70, cool. high of like 70s. And it, what was the low this weekend? What, what was the low the It was like night? 60 or so. Upper 50s, lower 60s. 50. Yeah, a little right around upper 50s, lower 60s. So yeah, so it got pretty cool this weekend. So the pool, the water is really cold now. But today it's really hot though. It's gonna be like upper 90s and it's really humid. So it's really hot out now, but the water's still cold. So I'm trying to sit out and get a little warm. So then it will be feel a little nicer when I get in because it's so cold. And Shirley's over there. She's gonna let us know how it is. I'm watching them. <laughs> Brad's inside. He has some stuff he said he had to do today. The boys are in there, but they're in trouble because they're arguing because they can't stop arguing. So they might come out here later if they can stop arguing and get out of trouble. So we'll see. So, all right, I want to see if I can get used to this water here. All right, so we got in the water. It only took me about 30 minutes to get all the way under. It was cold. But once hey you're guys. in it, it's hey not guys. too bad. It's not too bad. Once you're in it. Hey guys! What? Guys! Watch this! Oh. Does it feel good? It's cold! Hold! Hey my god! <laughs> <laughs> we are here at Lowe's. We're going to look at wall paint for Ripley's room. What do you think? Okay. A Ninja Turtle type of color. Maybe some kind of light green or something. So we're going to get Molly and Shirley's opinion on it. See what they think. Well, I don't want it to be green like Ninja Turtle. It's I want got it to be like on. a light color. Yeah. Light blue. So we're now running down to the, these two. This one or this one? That one's just a little bit darker than that one. That one's a little bit lighter than that one. But we don't want anything that dark or that dark. And that was, those are way too light. But that's kind of green, but not too bad. <laughs> so we hang his Ninja Turtle stuff up and kind of go with the green Ninja Turtle stuff. Like if we had a darker Ninja Turtle thing, it would go up against the lighter. Let's see. Now we're looking at flooring. So we want to get new floors in the kitchen and the living room. I kind of like, I kind of like this one here. I like a little bit of the darker ones. But we don't want anything too, too dark, but... A lot of these are so light. I really like that one there. I don't really care for those because they're very glossy looking. I'm not really crazy about the glossy looking ones. See, this is more, it's hardwood floor. So look at the difference between the prices. Yeah. I like that second one up there too, on the right. 
The one on the left's not too bad. I like the right. Left. I like the left. But now see that one there on the left? I think that's too dark. I think that one's too dark. <laughs> Ooh, let me see. There's one over here too. I kinda like the one on the left up there too. So we're also looking at carpeting because we want to have new carpet in the bedrooms and then new carpet on the stairs. So this is the carpet we like. We like this carpet because it's darker so it won't show the uh, stains and stuff on it so much. And then when the, the, the wood for the floor in the living room would go against the carpet on the stairs. And then the bedrooms. And then the bedrooms. We like that a lot. I think it goes really well with together. Those two colors, the carpet with the wood. So now we're here at the hospital to see Brad's brother's baby. His brother Daniel just had a new baby and his wife Kayla. His little baby boy. Bentley. Bentley. Ready for 317 to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Is that them? Yeah. Yeah, because when I call, he's call he's Steve Bornoni says, kind of, he's like, congrats on the new baby, buddy. I said, thank you, so kind of looks like me. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Steve said that? Or you said that? Did you go check him out, Ralphie? Wait a second, I didn't get a picture. All right, it's the end of the vlog. We're heading to bed. Brad's already in bed. He came in about 30 minutes ago and went to bed, and I was editing the vlog so I'm finishing up doing that and then I will head to bed good night good morning everybody it's Wednesday morning today's July 6th I am home waiting for Brad he had to go get some product for his co-worker Diana they were out of some hair color or something so he had to go get some product for her take to the salon and he's getting I think she's cutting his hair real quick then he's coming home we have to go to the store because we're out of a lot of things. We didn't get to do that yesterday. I want to go to Bath and Body Works, White Barn, actually White Barn, but mine's both. But um, both White Barn and Bath and Body Works together because supposedly they have, they're supposed to have some of the White Barn supposed to have some fall candles out, like a uh, like a sneak preview type of thing. So I'm gonna see if I have some. I have a gift card thanks to our subscriber Joan that I'm gonna use and maybe get some of those candles. If they have them, hopefully they do. And then, um, I was thinking we had to do some other thing. We have to take the boys, they're gonna have a visit with their dad today, at three o'clock I think. And then, we're gonna go meet, no, I don't think we're meeting, I think they're bringing, um, the other guardian parents are bringing their sister Olivia over to spend the night with us tonight. Brad's gonna do her hair tomorrow at work. He's gonna do like a keratin on her hair. Anyway, so she'll be spending the night tonight. So we have a lot of stuff to try to do here in the next few hours before they have the visit with her dad at three. And look at the bedroom set. My mom got us this new bedroom set. It was actually my aunt's brother was selling this. They're moving into a smaller house and I think they're downsizing so they didn't need this bedroom outfit. So it matches our walls. It's got the gray and stuff in there and brown dressers. It matches the colors, so it's not bad. I like it. She she got it um, for a really good price, so I kind of want it. It's a little bit, it's used, so it's just a little bit, I mean, it's not real, real fluffy. I wanted like a really, really fluffy comforter, so it's not quite as fluffy as I wanted, but I mean, it's nice. It's better than what we had, so we needed a new one. Um, but I still want to look and see what else I can find maybe, but they're so expensive. Because if you find like a really fairly nice one, they can be up to almost $200 for the whole set. That doesn't even include if you buy a bunch of pillows and everything. So we'll see, it'll, it'll do for now. It's, it's better than what we had anyway, so we, we needed something different. So, all right, so now we'll be heading out as soon as Brad gets home. All right guys, so it's clearing up and I'm here at State Beauty Supply to get what I need. All right guys, so I had Dominic cut my hair while I was there. 
dropping stuff off. He was like, Brad, you still want me to cut your hair? I said, yeah. I said, I need to get it tanned before we go on our vacation. So he cut my hair for me, trimmed up my beard, did all that good stuff. And then um, now I'm going to meet for lunch. Okay, so I'm meeting Brett and them. Ralphie needs help out. Who are you? That door doesn't unlock, or he can't open it from that side. Why are you crying? The door was unlocked. Okay, so now we're headed to White Barn. Check and see if they got those fall preview candles in. Oh brother, here. Marco's so happy. He loves coming to Bath and Body Works with me. No, we have stuff to do. I know we got stuff to do. We got to go to Bath and uh, White Barn. Oh, you need that's to all on the off. that's on the agenda. That's the number one important thing today. So they had all the fall candles up, but they weren't on sale at all. They were all regular price, full price. They didn't have any kind of buy two, get one free or anything like that. So I couldn't do it and I'm mad because I wanted them, but I can't pay, I can't pay full price knowing that if they go on sale, I can get double what I would get full price for half that price. So I could get Ralphie. double for the same price. Yeah. So I held off, I'm gonna wait for a sale. So I know some people were getting them for like, $15 and they bought three or something like that at some places at White Barns, but not today So I'll get them eventually But they all smelled really good. I love my pumpkin. The pumpkin cinnamon was my best and then uh, a lot of the good ones They had there So I'll get them eventually. All right guys, so we're at Walmart To do our shopping They're all driving like idiots here Join the other idiots that's in here. All right, so I stopped my home real quick. I stopped my home to drop off the groceries. And Brad took the boys to their visit with their dad because I have to go drop some paperwork off to my doctor and then I am going to go to a Bath and Body Works store because I saw on Facebook in one of the candle groups that I'm in that some people have been finding fall candles for sale at their Bath and Body Works for $12.50. But my white barn, they weren't on sale. They were all regular price. They had some on sale for $12.50, but it wasn't any of the new fall ones. It was like a lot of the summer ones that they have out. They had those on sale for $12.50, but the new fall scents were all regular price. So I called some different, white, uh, different Bath and Body Works, not white barns, Bath and Body Works around my area and they also they have them on sale all the new fall candles that they have out are on sale for $12.50 plus I could use my 20 out 50 coupon so I'm gonna go to one of my regular Bath & Body Works store even though it's a little further away from me I don't know why the white barn didn't have theirs on sale it's just kind of weird but I don't think they're gonna have quite as many there as my white barn did because my white barn had about 10 to 15 different scents in the fall candles so I'm gonna see what the Bath & Body Works has and I can just get them I guess I could get some more because I could probably get four candles for $30. It ends up being like seven something a piece. So that's a really good deal. I could always just buy some extras and then go switch them out for the other ones at White Barn maybe. 
I'll see. I'll try to figure out what I'm going to do when I get there. So anyway, I'm going to go to drop these papers off, and then I'm going to go head to uh, Bath and Body Works, and then I'll meet up with Brad later. All right, guys. So just got done with the store, and now we're on our way to the visit. And Brett went to the house to drop off all of the um, groceries, put them away, and then I believe. Uh, gonna go chase down some candles and then we got to get back so we can get Marco's sister yes so we'll see you guys in a few so we're at the visit and the boys are playing now I made them sit and talk with their dad for 30 minutes before we let them play because they haven't seen him for so long he needs to visit with them so we're just sitting over here now. I'm sitting here while they're playing with their dad at the park and talking. Marco keeps talking about when we go to Branson. He's super excited. So now I am headed to Bath and Body Works down here on the plaza in Kansas City to see if they have the candles on sale. Hopefully, or they do, I called, but hopefully they have the ones that I want. So we'll see. So I checked that Bath and Body Works and they had some, but they didn't have a lot of the ones that I wanted. They had about seven or eight different ones there, but there was only two that I really wanted. They had the Black Cherry Merlot and the, uh, what is it, the pomegranate cider or spice pomegranate cider, whatever it is, they have that one there too. But all the rest were ones that I had last year. I really wasn't wanting to get those. So she said, I told her about my white barn having them, but they weren't on sale. And she says sometimes if you tell them that they have them on sale at other Bath & Body Works, that they will be able to honor that sale. So I called my white barn and I told them that I'm at the store at the plaza and they have their tall candles on sale for $12.50. And she said you would maybe sometimes be able to honor them if they were on sale somewhere else. And she said, yeah, they could do that. They would honor them for $12.50 if they're on sale at the other store. So I said, all your fall candles? She said, yes. So I'm headed back to White Bar now because they have ones that I want there. So I said, all your fall candles you will honor $12.50. She said, yes. So now I'm headed back that way to get the ones I want for $12.50. For I'm sorry for $12.50 and now I'll use my 20 off 50 coupon. Whoa, troubles you don't go through when you're a candle collector. All right, I left and I got them. Whew. That was an ordeal, but I got the best deal, so I'm happy about that. Supposedly, when I went back to the White Bird, now they have a 12.50 sell sign out. She said they were supposed to be 12.50 and she didn't know that, so I could have just got it earlier had they known that they were supposed to be 12.50, I guess. I don't know, but then some of the candles weren't ringing up 12.50, so she had to manually put them in there, so I don't know what's going on exactly. But anyway, I got them for 12.50 each and I got to use my 20 out 50 coupon twice, so they all came to like 7.74 or something like that, so that was an awesome, awesome deal. I'm happy and I'm hurrying up and going home because Brad's waiting for me to eat dinner. So I'll be filming a haul 
and that will be up probably before this vlog comes out. So you'll see it before this vlog comes out. So all right, I'm headed home now. Okay, so Marco, Ralphie, and Olivia are in Marco's room. Listen, she's singing. busy doing my candle haul, uploading the thing on the YouTube. So now I gotta get to bed because I gotta work tomorrow. What? Does your husband know you're in bed with another man? I don't know, does he? It looks like another man, huh? With your new hairdo. Or not hairdo. No hairdo. I have to get used to that. I haven't had that for a year or so. What? You better not tell him. Oh, well, I'll keep it on the D-low. Okay. So anyway, it's time to go to bed now. So, alright, thanks for watching. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in the next vlog. Good night. You didn't even give me a chance to talk tonight. <laughs> oh, sorry. You didn't say anything. You're just rushing every night now. I've been rushing all day long because I have so much stuff to do and I gotta get to bed. Oh. Alright, good night. Alright, good night, y'all. I'm yours. You're mine. If you ever feel in blue, rest assured I've been there too. We just pick up. That's fine.